Hello, everyone. Today we will talk about the four major roles in Peking Opera. Peking Opera features character categorization. The characters of Peking Opera are classified according to gender, age, disposition, profession, and social status. Nowadays. There are four major roles in Peking Opera. They are Shen, Dan, Jing, and Chou. At first, we will discuss the role of Shen. Shen is a grown-up male, and generally positive. It can be further divided into Lao Shen, Wu Shen, and Xiao Shen. Lao Shen, decisive and honest, middle-aged or old man, usually specialize in singing or martial arts. They are the most common male character in Peking opera, and are also called Xu Shen, with artificial beards. Wu Shen, a young general, skilled in martial arts. Sometimes. They hold long weapons, wear armor, look dignified, and have a moderate skill of singing and recitation. Sometimes, they hold short weapons, wear short clothes, and are swift of action. Xiao Shen, clean-shaven and handsome young man, are frequently portrayed in love stories. Usually, they are scholars. Because of the uniqueness of Peking opera, Xiao Shen had been relatively unimportant. While many plays gave priority to Lao Shen and Dan, Xiao Shen had been relatively obscure. In the history of Peking opera, famous actors playing the role of Xiao Shen. Were very few in number. It is quite different from the Western dramas, where the young hero is very important, and is played by highly acclaimed actors. In performance, the striking feature of Xiao Shen is speaking and singing with a combination of real and false voices. Usually. The false voice is very sharp, thin, and high pitched, which makes Xiao Shen different from Lao Shen. On the other hand, the false voice of Xiao Shen is also different from that of Dan. It should be strong but not rough. It should not be as gentle as a woman's voice. So, the singing of Xiao Shen. Is very difficult. This is why not many actors have excelled in playing this role. Dan refers to various female characters, including Hua Dan, Lao Dan, Qing Yi, and Wu Dan. Hua Dan are young women with a frank and open personality. They are mostly from humble families, only maid servants in rich families. Lao Dan are elderly women. They usually use their natural voices, which are rich, loud, high pitched, and melodious. Qing Yi are generally young or middle aged women of strong character. And a refined disposition. Most of them are faithful wives, loving mothers, and pure women from feudal society. Wu Dan are women skilled in martial arts, including generals, heroic forest outlaws, and fairies. In the history of Peking opera. There are a lot of famous actors with great accomplishments. 
the famous four great Dan actors, Mei Lanfang, Chen Yanqiu, Shang Xiaoyun, and Xun Huishen, have made great contributions to the performance of Dan and the development of Peking Opera. Due to the long distance traveling of the opera troops, Dan used to be performed by male actors. They have created various images of Asian Chinese women and expressed their tenderness, elegance, and subtlety. Mei Lanfang had a beautiful voice and a stage appearance with elegant dancing and movements on stage. He crafted a noble and a natural image, reaching a peak of female role performance. He had made innovations to the art of picking opera in different aspects. He composed many new melodies and introduced facial expressions, movements, and the technique of dancing. To the accomplishment of singing from Kun Opera to Peking Opera. He created various dances, such as the silk dance, sword dance, sleeve dance, and a dust dance. He was also the first to use Er Hu to support Jing Hu to accompany singing by the female role. He also made innovations to masks, hairstyles, and costumes in Peking Opera. Mei Lanfang's performance fully demonstrated Chinese classical beauty, and he had headed several performance tours to the United States, Japan, and European countries winning an international reputation for Peking Opera. He is worthy of the title Master Artists of Peking Opera. Jing usually have facial makeups and are the most romantic and exaggerated Peking Opera role. Most of them have a rough and bold character. They speak loudly, may shout at the slightest provocation, and may use force if angry. Jing can be divided into the singing-oriented type, or Wen Jing, and the martial type, or Wu Jing. They usually wear colorful paint on faces and are known as Hua Lian. The fourth role in Peking opera is Chou. It serves as a foil to the leading character, but predates other characters. No chou, no play, has long been a popular saying in China. Chou usually has a patch of white around eyes and nose, sometimes outlined in black. Chou represents far more characters than shen, dan, and the Jin. These characters can be all kinds of people, from high-ranking officials to servants and soldiers, from scholars to farmers and the traders. They can be old or young, male or female. They can be deaf, blind, or lame. Or they can be kind-hearted, or evil. Chou can also be divided into Wen Chou, that is gentle clowns, or Wu Chou, or martial clowns. Up till now, you have learned about the four major roles of Peking Opera. Then, how about facial makeup for Peking Opera? We will learn in the next part. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.